Hey guys, welcome to another Whiteboard Wednesday, where I solve real interview problems on a whiteboard in a real interview setting. And today's problem is asked by Amazon as well as a lot of other big companies. So let's see what it is. So here's today's problem. You are given two overlapping rectangles on a plane. For each rectangle, you are given its bottom left and top right points. And you have to find the area of the overlap of the two rectangles. How would you do it? I already have the inputs for you on the whiteboard. So I think I understand the problem, but just so we have some visuals, do you mind if I draw out the rectangles and uh, then we can go through this particular example? Yeah, anything that makes you comfortable. Okay, perfect. So let's say I have, I have this quadrant and um, I, have, I have the first rectangle over here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, so two, one. So I have the first rect the, the first point over there. Second point, two, three, four, five. Second point over there. So let's say I have this rectangle. And then the second one is three, two. So one, two, three, and one, two. Um, and five, seven. So seven, five, seven. So it's the same point. So it's one of the edges will be overlapping with the first rectangle. Okay, so it looks like this is what the two rectangles will look like. Mm -hmm. So what I'm looking for is the area over here. Correct. Okay. Interesting. So let me, let me just write out the points that we are looking at because there's a lot going on over here. Mm -hmm. um, so on the x-axis, I'm looking at so the first rectangle is two, one, one, two. So this doesn't make sense. It should be over here, right? Yeah. So, yes, that's better. So two, one, so I'm looking at two, and then on the x-axis, two, three, four, five, I'm looking at five. On the y-axis, I'm looking at one. I'm looking at two, looking at five, and I'm looking at seven. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the way I would approach this is the area consists of the multiplication between the length and the height or the length and the, or the width and the length. Mm -hmm. So in this case, what I'll, what I'll do is just focus on finding both the, both the width and the length. And then at the end, I will take the multiplication and we'll have the answer. Mm -hmm. But before I even go about doing that, I understand that these rectangles right now for this particular example these rectangles are overlapping is it mm -hmm. possible that they don't overlap at all yep that can be a case and in that case your function should return a false like false. The rectangles never overlapped okay so let's say in this scenario in a scenario like this the rectangles won't overlap mm -hmm. um also there would be four different quadrants is it possible for these rectangles to be in any of the other quadrants? Yeah, they can be anywhere. Okay. Okay. Um, so at the end, we'll also test out whether the logic works in all of the other four quadrants. But if you mm -hmm. don't mind, I will just stick to this one for now. Yeah. But I'll keep in mind uh, the other quadrants as I'm as I'm going through it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the first and step... the other thing that you should consider is uh -huh. uh, the rectangles, the input value for the rectangles, mm -hmm. they will always be parallel to the axis. Okay. So you're saying rectangles like these can't yeah, exist. Yeah, yeah, you okay. won't get them. Okay, that's an input. that's perfect because it would it would be a bit trickier to get <laughs> the area of those rectangles. Yeah. Okay, um, so in this case now, let me let me start with just getting the width of this rectangle. Mm -hmm. So in order to get the width, I will see. Um, which rectangle is to the left mm -hmm. and so which rectangles leftmost side is to the left of the leftmost size of the other rectangle mm -hmm. right so if if I know that the leftmost size of my first rectangle is over here and the mm -hmm. leftmost size of the second rectangle is over there mm -hmm. then I don't care about this this area at all mm -hmm. so this is three actually I need to take into account point three as well so this is three so basically I don't care about this particular area mm 
-hmm. or this particular length so my width will start from what is the maximum of these two numbers mm -hmm. right so what i'm looking for is max of two and three in this case um okay now on the other hand when the width ends i will see which rectangle's right side is to the left of the rectangle of the right side of the other rectangle mm -hmm. because if 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 one rectangle is over there and the other one's right side is over there then i don't care about this area or this this length so the same thing over here well over here both the sides are overlapping but let's say i had one side over there mm -hmm. so i wouldn't care about this particular this particular distance so what i want in this case is the min of five and five Mm -hmm. So five and five and in order to get the width, I'll just do the min of five and five minus the max of five and five. So width equals um, min five five minus, no, yes, min five five minus max two three, which equals five minus three which is two right so mm -hmm. in case of the rectangles not overlapping mm -hmm. then if the rectangles don't overlap then the min of the or actually if we consider the rectangles over here the min of the right side of the right side of the two right sides would mm -hmm. be this yep and the max of the two left sides would be this. Mm -hmm. So if I'm taking the value of the min minus the max, I'll get a negative value. So basically, if this yeah. is negative, then they don't overlap and I can return false right away. Mm -hmm. So in this case, they do overlap. So we're done with getting the width. Uh, what if you don't get a negative value and you get a zero? Even, so it has to be positive value because mm -hmm. if even if I get a zero, um, one, if one of the sides is zero, then the area is going to be zero. Yeah. You know, so you're, you're right. So if it is non-positive, then I will output false. Now, the same mm -hmm. thing with, with, uh, with the length actually. So over here I have, I have two and I have one, right? Uh, mm -hmm. for the, for the bottom, for the, for the bottom point of both the rectangles. Mm -hmm. So the distance between one and two is not our overlap. So I don't care about it. I don't care about this basically. Yeah. Right. So I will take the maximum of mm -hmm. one and two. So the maximum of one and two. And um, the same thing over here. Um, the the highest most length of one rectangle um, versus the highest most length of the other rectangle the, mm -hmm. the distance between those two I don't care about so I don't care about this distance mm -hmm. so I will take the minimum of five so and seven the formula remains same for both the excess right uh, the min of five and seven minus yes the formula remains the same mm -hmm. so I think what I need to do is feed it the right numbers yeah. and so let's let's say for let's say for um, so th th this is very specific to this particular example you know I need mm -hmm. to make it a bit more generic mm -hmm. um, so if you don't mind even before I go into the function mm -hmm. um, we already have the answer. So from the from the second formula, I have I have this particular length, which is five minus two is three. Mm -hmm. um, but I need to. This shouldn't be five. That shouldn't be two. You know, there should be variables so that I can yeah. I can translate that into the function. So if you don't mind, I will I will I will look into how I can do that now. Yeah, you can write a generic function mm -hmm. that can have four input values the mm -hmm. uh, bottom left top right of first rectangle mm -hmm. and the bottom left and top right of the second rectangle 
Okay, so I have the bottom left and top right. And those inputs, so the bottom left is this point. Would, 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 would those inputs be arrays? And you can have anything. Okay. Right? They can be in the form like of an array or uh, they can be an object with X and Y. Mm -hmm. Coordinate. Okay. Um, okay. I think I think an object may work better. Um, mm -hmm. Just just for understanding purposes. So, okay. So this I can call um, R one R one lower point X, and then I'll get two. Mm -hmm. And R one lower point Y, and I'll get one. Mm -hmm. For example. Okay. Um, so. Let me let me just replace the two threes um, and the five fives over here with those values. Oh, you can have them in your function. Directly. Okay, okay. Let's 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 go ahead with the function then. So I'll say function. Um, let's name it overlap. And I have you mentioned four points. The R one let's say r1 r1 bottom r1 yeah. bottom um r1 top mm -hmm. um r2 bottom and r2 top right and then the first thing i'll do is i will I will look at so as so so we know that the x's or the x coordinates of these two are already in ascending order. Like this should be to the left of this. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. I the can, first can I, can one I will be that? the bottom left one, and the second point will be the top right. Okay. Perfect. So in that case, um, let me let me say that. Let me let me let me form a generic function first that mm -hmm. yields me the distance. Yeah. So I'll say function distance. And then what you feed in that function would be um, it would be so right now we're feeding two, three and five five, right? So what I'll be feeding uh, it is what is the what is the r1 b x which in this case would be would be 2 then I say what is the r2 b x or it can be x or y it doesn't matter mm -hmm. but r um, r1 b x y let's say r2 b x y um, then r2 t x y and r no r1 r1 t x y and r2 t x y so basically what i'll be feeding is in this order i'll say two three five five mm -hmm. right and what it should do is it should it should just give me the minimum uh it it, it should basically give me this number mm-hmm so it'll say um, return let's say min of our min of um, min of five five so min of these two mm -hmm. r1 t x or y um, r2 T X or Y minus the max of R one B X Y R two B X Y right so if it returns this mm -hmm. if it is negative then we can automatically return false if it's positive then we can we can return what, what whatever the area is. So the first thing I'll do is I'll say um, length length equals distance. Let's say the length is this. Or you can consider it as x y. 
we don't get confused between length and breadth like um yeah we can we can call it we can call it x we can call it y y distance right we can call yeah. it y dist that's that's a good point so y dist equals distance and i want to i want to give it 1 2 i want to give it 1 2 and 5 7 yes so i will say r1 b point y mm -hmm. no um yes r1 b point y and i will give it um r1 so i'll i'll give it um this is the first rectangle and i'll give it the y coordinate of that mm -hmm. then for the second rectangle i'll give it the y coordinate as well of the bottom one so yeah. r1 b point y r2 b point y mm -hmm. so that's done and then i'll say r1 t point y and r2 t point y mm -hmm. and um i will then have an if statement if if y dist um is less than equal to zero mm -hmm. return false mm -hmm. right and then um i will i will have the x dist yeah equals dist distance um so in this case it'll be r1 b point x and it it's actually very very clear over here what my inputs would be so r1 b point x r2 b point y r1 t point x and r2 t point y point y sorry point x yes yeah. perfect mm -hmm. so in this case then um i will get i will get the width and i'll have the same if statement if x dist is less than equal to zero return false mm -hmm. and then at the end we will say return so if all if, if, if everything passes um then we'll say return x dist times y dist mm -hmm. and that's that's our area um so this would as we tried out the example i think this would work definitely for this particular quadrant mm -hmm. um we also take into account when there is no overlap so for the next couple of minutes i just validate that the solution works in the other three quadrants you got the point so what did we learn here? So I'm a visual guy, and if you like me, draw the problem out on the whiteboard. It'll help you visualize and also break it down into smaller chunks, like we did over here with length and width. So it'll make solving the problems that much easier. So go ahead, solve a few problems. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.